Since the beginning of the atomic age, America has relied on nuclear power for a huge share of its energy. But every year, the sector generates more than 2,000 tons of radioactive waste. This week, the country's oldest nuclear plant in Lacey, New Jersey, closed after 49 years, and there's nowhere permanent to put the waste that's been stored there. Around the country, spent fuel is piled up in more than 80 locations, just waiting. The problem is that nuclear waste is dangerous for at least 10,000 years, long after most containers and facilities built to house it have fallen apart. Republican Congressman John Shimkus has radioactive waste all over his backyard. His home state, Illinois, has more of it than any other state. Ratepayers and states that generate electricity have been paying into a fund to solve this problem, and we haven't solved the problem, and we've taken their money. I think they'd be very angry. What's the problem with having these things here and just replacing them when they go past their usefulness? Well, you won't replace them. If they stay here, they'll stay here forever. And the Nuclear Regulatory Commission says these are safe, but it's only safe for about 40 or 50 years versus what the law of the land says is find a permanent repository. If completed, uh, Yucca Mountain will be safe for this type of storage for a million years. Yucca Mountain, 100 miles from Las Vegas in the Nevada desert, was chosen by the Department of Energy in 1987 as the country's safe deposit for nuclear waste. But 30 years later, it's nowhere close to completion. This is the classic not-in-my-backyard syndrome. This issue has been in Congress for about 20 years now. We would hope that the repository in Nevada will be opened by 2010. Under pressure from powerful former Nevada Senator Harry Reid, Obama cut off funding for the project in 2010. The change of administration reignited the debate. In May, Shimkus led the passage of a bill through the House that would restart the process of opening Yucca Mountain and took a delegation on a tour of the site. But not a single Nevada representative showed up. And over here on this side, see those big black cables right there? Yeah. Those are our power plugs. Shimkus wanted his colleagues to support a $268 million budget allocation for the project and help him push the bill over to the Senate. At a photo op after the tour, they seemed convinced. When you come out and see something firsthand, you see something your colleagues haven't. It is our job to go back and educate. We have problems with storing nuclear sped fuel all over the country, and it's not safe where it is. It is time to move forward in America to resolve this problem. But funding for Yucca Mountain was cut from the Senate-approved September spending package. The reason? The senator from Nevada. Republican Dean Heller, another Nevada senator with serious skin in the game. As long as I'm in the Senate, Yucca Mountain is dead. It's simple as that. We're just protecting the short-term political interests of uh, senators. Who says then the next senator from Nevada is going to put the pressure on the next majority leader of the Senate to say no? Find a solution. Heller could lose his it seat in November, problem. potentially turning the Senate blue. That, and that's a more immediate threat to the Republican Party than radioactive waste. They're trying to block the money to have the final scientific argument of whether it's safe or whether it's not. I'm willing to have that argument. The state of Nevada is not willing to have that argument. When it was Obama and Reid, I could do some righteous anger partisan-wise, right? right? But now it's McConnell mm -hmm. and Paul Ryan. I have to be consistent. Sure. Righteous anger against them for not complying with the law. 